All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, it's sunny and it's cold outside, but I wanted to make this video. This is what I got for Christmas. The, um, the Knuckle Genius charger thing, the Gen 5. So it's a two bank one, and I kind of wanted to install it today because I have nothing to do on Tuesday. Um, I don't know exactly where to install it. I've seen some people install it like right here and that's probably where i might install mine too probably right here in the center and that way it's kind of away and i really don't have to drill in there and i could just drill here and it's much easier um or i could put it somewhere back there move the gas tank out of the way but uh, i really don't know i just rather because rather, it has buttons i really don't know what the buttons do yet i'd rather it be here and i could control it from right there it's going to be much easier so yeah, stay tuned to find out how I actually do this and uh, where I install it. So I'm going to do a voiceover and oh yeah, don't don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. That actually helps me out a lot. Uh, I will make a fishing channel, a fishing video soon. And yeah, stay tuned. All right, guys. So here we have the box. All right. So once you get your box, for some reason it says 1914 on there I have no idea why it says 1914 if you know please comment down below so once you remove the foam protective foam boom you got the charger and right next to the charger if you see that little bag right there is actually mounting screws so I'm gonna use these mounting screws hopefully they work and I'm not gonna use stainless steel so I'll keep you updated on that uh, right underneath the charger you have your manual or as some people's friends name, Manuel. <laughs> you have four charging modes. The first three modes are going to be for three different types of batteries. The last mode is a repair mode. So in case your battery's not holding charge, uh, you can hit repair. It should repair it. If it doesn't repair it, it looks like you need a new battery. <laughs> so if you can see right here on the charger, you have sliding mounts. It's not actual hole for the, for the screw. So once you drill a hole on there you can slide it in there and once you get your drill go ahead and put the smallest drill bit you can find or maybe one step higher than the smallest drill bit and go ahead and start your first hole and don't go too deep because you don't want to go through your boat 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 through your boat <laughs> and uh, mess anything up once you do that go ahead and switch your electric gun and put your screw in once you put your screw in, do not screw it in all the way because it will go through your boat. Okay? We don't we don't need any of that. Alright? And don't tighten it all the way. That way you can slide your charger in there. And go ahead and tighten it down. And don't over tighten it. Just kind of like on the side, on the first side, go ahead and snug it. And then you see how it's a little bit loose? I'm gonna, I, I just tightened it just a hair. That way I can line the other side up and do the same thing once I line the other side up I tighten both sides and I made sure they're both tight so that's good next step get your wrench all right some sizes are different I think mine was a 14 uh, millimeter wrench loosen up your positive and negative and remember the red wire goes to the positive and the black wire goes to the negative and remember righty tighty lefty loosey if you didn't know that well now you know all right now once you installed all that you want to go ahead and get your extension cord make sure you get a long enough one if your plug is far away like mine is <laughs> and uh running all the way to the boat all right looks like the trash man was here today and go ahead and plug it in there's a little protective sleeve that goes in the plug take that off plug it in and make sure the light turns is flashing and you can't see it but it is flashing it is charging and you just wait a second let it charge come back later and it's charging and you can see they're both charged uh, they're really not blinking it's just on the camera it shows that it's blinking but it's not blinking uh, so it looks like they're both charged so it didn't take long at all actually all right and on the side you can see I put a little velcro velcro strap on there and uh, that way you know once you're done you could actually just Throw your extension wire and just have it nice and neatly because I hate when it's all kind of messy. Don't you guys? And then I put that protective cover on there. That way salt water doesn't get on there and corrodes it. I also put a Velcro straps on both batteries and just kind of tied all the excess wire on there. So nice and neat, you know? So 
hopefully you guys learned something from this video don't forget to like subscribe down below and i will see you guys next time bye